sissy for your game, too sissy for this fame, yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy for the trap, too sexy for the cap. Yo, what's up, Brooksies? Kiana coming at you with a little, little update. Well, not much of an update. Well, I guess it is a little update. Uh, to my Tenpai uh, Dragon deck list, uh, recently got top eight in the um, World Celebration like weekend thing. Um, finished six, six spot. Um, good amount of people. Nice little turnout. Um, <clears throat> deck was super fun. Um, my only two losses came to um, came to Tenpai. Uh, I lost to Tenpai in the mirror. Uh, they won the die roll, and it just was what it was. Um, and then the, my second loss came to lab. Um, I, I honestly wasn't prepared. I lost game one. Um, just wasn't prepared for get lab at all. Uh, lost game one, uh, game two. Um, it was, it was super grindy. I, I honestly don't know how I like made it out. Um, I had a couple of like play errors, um, things in, in my opponent, uh, was great. Um, some things I like just had to take back, like, and, um, like I think I tried to, I'd use Genroku and I was like fire locked and I tried to go the, to the, through the, uh, Promethean line and I had to like take it back. So, um, it was all good. But then I ended up finding the line in game two and, um, OTK'd him with the Zelantis line and, um, game three, um, it went into time. Like we literally had seconds. Um, he didn't get to make it a draw phase or anything like that. And, um, um, we basically, so it would have been a draw. But at that point we were like X X one each. So we had only won like lost like one time through the first few rounds. And um so we rolled the dice for it. And you know, I was cool with it because you know there was a couple like errors that I made that he let me like take back and stuff. So um he won the die roll on that. So he ended up getting that win. And then like I said, Tempo was Tempi. Um but everything outside of that I played like um a couple white forest decks, um a runic variant, Torbox Torbox variant um and this deck's just crazy i just felt and i played like a sprite for higher like list it, it was just in a brand it, it was something like that um but those matchups were pretty pretty easy um the white force toy, toy box um i just kind of drew like every answer like it was actually kind of crazy um like i i went mole charmy he asked it um i had a um I had a Bissiel, I had an Imperm, I had an Ash. Like, it was kind of crazy. And then my last card was Kaiman. So after I chewed through everything, like, I Kaimaned in, in, in Battle Phase and then went Chandra, Chandra Fraudra. I think he had um, negated the Pydra. Um, and then just OTK through there. So it was kind of crazy. Um, but I'm going to go into it. Um, it's probably pretty standard at this point. Um, I just, I like this list a lot. Um, so even though th this deck profile like is for the top eight, um, I swapped out a few cards um, that I think will be just better in general for this like format. Um, so I'll explain when I get there. Um, so triple Chandra, uh, two Genroku, um, two Fadra. I'm a two Fadra believer. Um, I just don't think it's correct to play one. Um, this this card is actually like kind of insane in the grind too. Like because even if you even if you have like one copy in hand, like after, you know, they, they force you to go first. Um, I mean, Fadra is kind of like combo in itself because you could go Fadra, bring back like Pydra, Pydra search Kaiman, or Fadra get Chandra, go to battle phase, um, get back out Pydra, add uh, Kaiman. It's kind of crazy. I, I just think two is like necessary. Um, uh, one summoning, obviously, for the world's list, this is one, a new format, it's one. Uh, one terraforming because we got to find our one of um and that's also how like i won the lab like matchup i just i, I really, literally like opened up all the one ofs i opened up like terraforming power prosperity like it was crazy um and then three kaiman uh this is this is all you need uh not much engine cards at all um that's why i think this deck's like crazy this format and it's also like super cheap um, I think that's why a lot of people like it. I'm not only like, yeah, like it doesn't, I mean, I mean, it is what it is. Like, you know, people hate like board breakers and shifter and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, like, um, like if I don't drop shifter, you're going to combo off and I'm not going to be able to chew through your board anyways. Um, so is what it is. Um, for the hand trap lineup, um, this is the hand trap version, uh, Nibiru, um, shifter, Ash, Volcharmy, 
um four okay so this is where the the um deviation was um obviously i played two shifter in the tournament um and i played one Druus worm in the tournament but right here i have two um and i played one mag um the other two cards i played so instead of the shifter and the Druus worm i played two moonlight chills which was kind of terrible the whole day um so i went ahead and swapped it out for this profile because these are just better um Vistios are going kind of crazy right now um triple imperm uh, for the hand trap so as you can see uh three six uh nine twelve fifteen eighteen hand traps um uh, we're just we're just straight clicking um they're not they're not playing even if even if they force you to go first it's kind of crazy which it happened to me um i was able to win pretty easily going first like the sprite player maybe go first um i went second like otk them and then um I, I sills passed uh she went into mag search genroku genroku effect and then Piedra. it was crazy um and then two lightning storm uh two raigeki one prize prosperity one cross out designator one called by um honestly um I'll, I'll probably keep these right here like this and just side in two more cross out um yeah probably um put two cross outs on the side or something um that's over the main deck um it was it was probably quicker than it took me to gap in the beginning uh one striker dragon one heretic sweet steel um one sp uh one hita uh one dark one promethean princess one world sea sea zelantis um raging phoenix uh this package is like crazy necessary um because they're they're bringing in the barriers like game game um like two and three obviously um but these were kind of crazy when they came up uh one trident dragon one uh uh sing singing pie um the transcendent uh double bident one ruddy rose one black rose and one samurai destroyer um <clears throat> i am I'm, I'm thinking and you know you guys can give me feedback in the comments i'm trying to figure out a card to cut for um doolittle like i'll actually never get caught without doolittle again um because in the mirror i could have i could have gamed him um but he flipped d barrier and there was nothing and i was gonna go for the promethean line but he like there was nothing in his grave to grab back off the hita um so it was just it, it just was what it was and if i had of and i could have because i had common in hand i had i had i literally had pydra pydra chandra and if i had doolittle i could have just linked it off and then common in battle phase and then it just would have been like ggs honestly because i could have just went uh do a little swing and then chime in for chandra chandra damage step uh bring out fodger bring back the pydra so they're all like i mean that's over 8k damage um so that's the only card like um i feel like it's kind of gonna be mandatory i think do little's just do little's kind of crazy um but that's it for the extra i'll show you the side um even though it'll probably change uh three phantasma three of these um because I honestly thought I was gonna play more against like Ritual Beast and like Ritual Beast is straight up. Um, even though Tempai closes out games like insanely fast, um, Ritual Beast players like play slow as shit. So like there's there was like literally a time like I went to locals and it took him like 15 minutes to combo in the first in the first turn. And then I, at the time I was playing Vanquish Souls, so it took me like five minutes to make my turn. And then. Um, you know that's like 20 damn minutes and then our first our first match our first round literally took like well our first game took like 30 minutes and then game two like i killed him and we had like it was like time in the round and th so it's this is mainly for like the slow ass virtual v stacks um honestly uh power filter because you bell can't play through it it'll just be it's just over um uh three cosmic uh one feather duster one rivalry one anti um i like the side a lot um i probably won't take this to locals like that often i'll probably just use it at like uh bigger um like tier two and up events um when they come back around in this area uh but it's not the most fun deck to play at locals i'm not gonna lie but uh, that's just kind of what the room like warrants um so you know some people can bitch and moan about it but i'm like i'm, I'm gonna play this deck if you're playing like fiendsmith you i'm so sorry like it's just gonna happen um 
But that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Remember to like the video if you like the video. Comment down below what you would change. Um, comment down below your suggestion, like, uh, to fit in Doolittle. Um, I just feel like the extra deck's so tight. Um, but, you know, we'll figure it out. Um, and subscribe to the channel because we're trying to get 1K. Um, we'll see you next time, broskies.